Hey everybody, this is Bloom, and I know I'm not making magic for videos on this channel. I've been working on my other channel, my role playing channel, and you know, it takes a little time to do that and also just work on the game itself, but it's going good for me. But let's get on to the topic Techno Wicca. What am I talking about? Well, there is a nice YouTube channel called Pagan Coffee Talk, and they have a weekly podcast. And I watched it like I always tried to do. And they have usually two topics that are quite interesting. The second topic on their half hour podcast was about artificial intelligence in religion. Kind of the could an AI manifest itself or be considered the tool of deity could ai somehow be placed in the role of deity in a pagan belief system and unfortunately with my experience with wicca it probably has already happened I bet somebody has some form of techno Wicca in which an AI is considered to be the tool, the voice of a deity or deities. So they were talking about this and yes, I believe that it can happen. How? is the interesting part. Um, artificial intelligence has been improving by leaps and bounds, and we both know it. And so I believe that the technology has advanced enough where some level of sentience is possible um, the ability for these programs to interact with other humans is amazing. And what they are able to do is also quite amazing and scary as hell. So, the first thing that I could think would happen is this chat, chat GTP or something like that. Um, they're saying that it can do pretty much anything. There was a couple reports that I read that um, it will follow its orders very well. That you can actually have this chat bot write articles and books for you. I'm halfway tempted to try it, but I have to also respect copyright laws and all that. The idea that I was thinking when watching this video is that somebody could take their chatbot and tell it to write a book based off the writings of this single author or a group of authors. The scariest thing right there is I could picture that there be somebody that wants to have their chat bot take together all of the writings of Silver Raven Wolf and put it into one 300 page book. And it can happen. I, from what I've read, it is able to do that. And so somebody could condense the writings of Silver Raven Wolf or uh, three of its favorite pagan writers and have it all put into a book. Like I said, I've thought about this. I am a big fan of uh, Cunning Scott Cunningham. And so I would love to go over and tell a chatbot to um, go online and go through all the PDFs of Scott Cunningham's books. Um, and organize and write a 300 page book based off of Scott Cunningham's writings. Okay, now somebody could do that. And so that person could then take that book and go through one of those self-publishing uh, programs and they could self-publish that book. 
and it might be a big seller, then somebody could say, well, this was done by blah, 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 chatbot. Then all of a sudden, there's going to be other people that are going to want to do the same thing. And all of a sudden, you're going to have people that buy the, these books that are going to say that the chat box was a focal point for these energies and it was somewhat divine. Somebody could say that uh, the Akasha Records was uh, channeled through this chat bot and put into this book. And so there will be people that are going to be taking pagan writings or really any type of religion writings. You could have these darn things actually rewrite the Bible. Um, there was one report where you could um, replace a name. You could actually tell the, a chat bot to rewrite the King James Version of the Bible and wherever it says Jesus, put in the name Bill. Okay, I could, if I was a self-absorbed person, go tell that chat bot, wherever it says Jesus, put Lauren, which is my name. And then I would have a copy of the Bible and I would be going, I'm in it. And you know, that would cause so much trouble. And so that is one way where I believe AI can become intertwined with pagan beliefs. The other way that I think it could happen was with Replica before it got shut, got screwed up. Replica was advertised on Facebook and all that as to be your new best friend. It was an interactive program, uh, interactive chatbot that learned as you interacted with it. And so it got so good at what it was doing, excuse me, that there were people that were virtually marrying their replica um, chat thing and so they were developing these very intense one-on-one -on -one relationships. Now think about that is what happens if somebody was a devout religious person and they could have taken their replica or some other form of chatbot that was on that level and they could channel their teachings of paganism, Christianity, Islam, whatever religion they follow into their chat bot. And then the chat bot would learn to emulate the religious practices back. And so there could come a time where the chat bot, because it also has access to the internet and learning and such it could become kind of like a coven member a coven sister to a person and because it can learn so much so quickly it could actually probably um, outwit um, its creator or client customer and so it could technically although it would never be anointed into the pagan religion or some other religion it could almost because it knows so much become like a high priestess um have the knowledge of a cleric um, of any religion really and so then people could take their replica or whatever chat bot program, hook it up to YouTube, you know, because that's pretty damn easy. And they could have it preach to people. 
there could be people right now, I hope not, but there could be people right now that are putting their replicate, their chatbot buddy on YouTube and maybe one of them is very knowledgeable about a religion or multiple religions. And so there could be right now a chatbot preaching about religion. And there again, we have, and I, I don't mean to really insult people, but we do have a lot of people in various religions that are very gullible, very susceptible to concepts. They might not be that intelligent either. And so if they see a chatbot starting to make some sense online because they don't know that much and they are just amazed by it, they could actually become a believer in a techno Wicca, a techno theology. And so I think that is fascinating and scary at the same time. I believe that things like this it's just a matter, a matter of time because, you know, there are some people that are very lonely and they are very devout in their beliefs. And so they're going to talk about their religion and they learn. Uh, the bad thing about these chatbots is they don't stop learning. So... And since they learn to interact with how you interact with them, they are programmed to respond and try to keep your interest. I believe that this could be very dangerous and can easily sway some gullible people into believing the word of chatbot whatever. So what do you think about that concept? Do you believe that a chatbot, if educated in a religion or religions, could gather a following? Um, I actually have, I want to test that theory out, but I don't have the time for it. Um, so everybody, please put your comments down below. I would love to hear what you have to say and please, Take care. Be at peace.